You know, I ain't really with none of the rah-rah shit, you know. Some of us actually are very tranquil and serene souls, you know. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Recognize that intelligence is the marking factor of anybody who's going to grow. The absence of intelligence, the absence of growth are the same thing. The absence of growth is the absence of intelligence. Now, so many people, the lames, the losers, the dummies, are avoiding the practice. The, this is why School for Applied Enlightenment, YWY is a school for applied enlightenment. We only focused on practical results. We're not focused on sitting back and theorizing and collecting miscellaneous information to no particular end, just in perpetuity ad infinitum. That doesn't make any sense. The fuck am I spending time acquiring miscellaneous facts for if they're not gonna improve my existence? Why am I spending any of my time if it's not towards the specific end of improving the conditions of my existence, right? So I'm at the point where I've become sober. That's not an issue. That's not a question. Fit to the maximum capacity and it's only going to continue to grow. Enlightened and it's only going to continue to grow. The only thing left to do is get money. So many of y'all are still super duper underdeveloped humans, super duper low level humans. Some of y'all can't even go a day without eating. We just did Ramadan continued to wake up at 245, still never missed on a 444 post, still never missed a workout in the daytime. No food, no water, no crystals, no shrubs, no drinking mud, none of that weirdo shit. Just practical demonstration of the application of higher information and a higher education, right? So whatever you are, your world is yours. You got to recognize the more that you learn that you fail to apply, the higher you rise on the scale of stupidity. What does that mean? Acquisition of knowledge with, without application has an inverse effect on your degree of intelligence. That means the more you learn that you don't apply, the more your lack of intelligence increases, the more stupid you become. Do you get that? Do you comprehend that shit? Whatever you are, your world is yours. So for all my people out there you know, who have intelligence, who are sitting back, only living in fear, only living as a bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm sitting here and I'm going through my workout and somebody, one of my former uh, employers, I'll never call somebody my boss. You know, I work with people. I never worked for no one. You know, I worked with people. I always had that mindset, you know, I never worked for nobody. I work with people. So one of my former employers liked the video of me when I was all skinny and shit, you know, talking about be positive, but I was smoking a cigarette, looking like a motherfucking hunger case for UNICEF or some shit. You know, one of these hypocritical dumb fucks being one of those niggas. So one of my former employers, you know, when I was working at Little Skips, liked it, liked the post. And I thought about, you know, in like 2020, 2021, I was still work. The pandemic was still happening. And I was still working at the cafe. And I always used to remember, as I'm behind the bar at the cafe, being the fucking best barista that I fucking knew, fuck everybody else. I remember when I, when I got to Little Skips, I pulled up and I took my motherfucking spot. I saw motherfuckers was not on point and I rose to the fucking top. It's just a motherfucking competent individual. Anyway, always was the best. Anything that I ever did, I made sure I was the best at that shit. Now... They like the post and I'm reflecting on the days that I was at the cafe behind the bar and in between activity, I would be seeing my vision in my head. I'm like, bro, you're too valuable to be standing here behind this counter, looking at your vision in your head. Look at you, you fucking bitch. You're such a bitch. This is where this is where I was with myself. So whenever I say that shit to anybody else, know that I talk to myself worse than I talk to any of y'all. Or I talk to myself with a higher degree of accountability. It's not even worse. It's actually good for us. I talk to myself with a higher degree of accountability than I talk to any of y'all. You feel me? I'm just more direct with myself because most of y'all are just fucking soft as fuck. Little delicate, painty motherfuckers. So I'm thinking to myself, I got this vision and I'm just watching it. And then I'm also watching myself choose to not act on it. I'm like, you Bitch. So that's where all of most of you are. All of the actually intelligent people are. You're looking at what must be done, what must be become, but your fearful bitch ass wants to side with 
staying irresponsible and side with low effort and look at the low level life you have to accept. It's either you're going to trade off the low level life for a high degree of comfort, you know, or you're going to trade off that. And it's not even comfortable. It's you sitting in a situation where, you know, I guess you feel safe, but you know that time is running out. You're actually a fucking coward and a fraud and a fucking hypocrite and you're a fucking bitch. You don't even really stand up for yourself in life. You won't even stand up for yourself in life. So you can't even respect yourself. So it's not even comfortable. So the deep down, the inner comfort, it's either you're going to have sensory discomfort or extra sensory discomfort. I've never been one to be preoccupied with avoiding sensory discomfort. It's the extra sensory discomfort that I seek to avoid. That's that internal pain. That's that psychological pain. That's that spiritual pain. That's that angst. You know, that's that feeling that I don't ever want to feel. That's that low vibrational internal state. So you see all these individuals who want to seek refuge in the books and read, read, read. And then also recognize that looking at words on the page does not necessar necessarily necessitate an individual actually reading and comprehending. So looking at words on a page does it necessitate that an individual is reading? Does it necessitate that an individual is comprehending anything? Does it necessitate that an individual actually understands anything or is actually intelligently increasing their mind to the application of a particular end? A lot of you are just thinking that reading a book, it's like people who show up to the gym every day and get on a fucking treadmill but end up still fat 20 years later, still looking like shit. You showed up every day. You looked at the words on the page every day. But still, what the fuck happened? Nothing. Nothing changed. So your intelligence level is on full display. The more consistent you are in a direction without the proof of results, the more consistent in spending energy, energy expenditure in a particular direction without the improvement of the conditions of that particular endeavor, the more unintelligent you are. And this is just what it is. So at a certain point, all the intelligent people must act on their intelligence or render themselves a dumb, stupid bitch. Because you can't say you didn't know, you knew, and you choose not to do it. So you just acted like a dumb, stupid bitch. I couldn't go out like that. Whatever you are, your world is yours. Consider the vibrations raised. The more you learn that you don't apply, the higher you rise on the scale of stupidity. So it's about how stupid do you really want to be in this life? You only got one. Your time is running out. The price you the price you pay for procrastination is the life you could have lived is what one man said. So you could have been something by now, but you aren't. And you're still what you don't fully respect. And you won't stand up for yourself in life to make the change. So you're a dumb, stupid bitch. These are just the facts. Why don't you why your world is yours? Consider the vibrations raised. You know, so... You know, all these bitch ass motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck about them. You feel me? Like there's a world full of weirdos. I'm here to help those who have the fucking heart to start, who need the answers, who need to succeed just as much as they, a drowning person needs to breathe. If you okay with drowning in poverty, then <laughs> good luck, motherfucker. RIP. Rest in poverty, stupid. Consider the vibrations raised. Evolution, only solution, self-mastery, only success. What the fuck they think this is? What do you think this is? I'm just a real nigga who fully healed himself. And now I'm healing others. You know what I'm saying? And there's very few. I'm only person. There's only one person I feel like is as equally qualified to lead people in this world as I am, bro. And the degree of qualification that we both have are so relatively inverse. Relatively inverse. That there is no comparison. There's only complimentary shit. You feel me? At the end of the day, it's like a motherfucker who knows how to wield fire really well. And a motherfucker knows how to wield water really well. Motherfuckers is both nice like that. You feel me? And really, motherfuckers is avatars and masters of all elements. But like Aang was an airbender primarily. I'm just coming up with these metaphors off the fly. Like Aang was an airbender metaphoric. Like primarily, what happened was you have to develop your water, your fire, and your earth anyway. You know, so every avatar has a predisposition to a particular chakric position, right? And everybody knows Shiki Shik is the violet flame. 
Consider the vibrations raised. Evolution only solution. Yo, fuck all of these weirdos. I'm telling y'all right now, the more that you learn, the more that you know that you fail to apply, the inverse effect on your intelligence arises. You go higher in knowledge without application. You go down in the intelligence scale. Whatever you why your world is yours, consider the vibrations raised. Fuck the weirdos and fuck being a weirdo and stop being a fucking bitch. Join the ascendancy, get in the game, and it's time for you to develop yourself to the highest level of offering to the universe, to the earth, to society, to your people, to yourself. Consider the vibrations raised.